with First Lady Michelle Obama's campaign to get kids healthier, childhood obesity has certainly become a hot topic, but is it really an epidemic? To answer that question, we now turn to Dr. Wando Anyoku. She's the Director of General Pediatrics at Children's Hospital of New Jersey. And let me start, did I get your name right? <laughs> as close as you're going to get. <laughs> okay, okay. So are our children getting fatter? And if they are, are we to blame as parents? Well, our children are certainly getting fatter. Um, I don't, I, I try not to use that word truly, but um, they're certainly getting bigger, bigger than we want them to be. Um, are we to blame? Not individually, but as a society, we're certainly to blame. The society has made it much more difficult for children to have a healthy weight, for children to grow up, um, you know, basically normal size. Um, between the mid 70s and 2008, the um, prevalence of childhood obesity in the United States absolutely tripled. Wow. So a good third of children in, um, in the U.S. are considered overweight or obese. And that's just not a good place to be um, because obesity is not just an aesthetic problem. It brings with it a plethora of health issues. So younger children than ever are having things like high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, mm -hmm. you know, high cholesterol, conversations you only really had about your uncle and your grandma. Um, we're now talking about 12 and 13 year olds having. And that's, that's an unfortunate thing for a country who has worked so hard to bring a better life for children, for us to be going backwards sure. in this way is really unfortunate. You touched on it there for a second when you said society. I mean, people are eating out more at restaurants and so many people just hit fast food drive throughs on their way home to and from soccer practice or work or what have you. Talk to us a little bit about society's role. Well, society's role is is all of it, really. <laughs> I mean, people like to talk about it being personal choice. And the question is, how can you make a personal choice among the options that you have? So if you, you mentioned fast foods. Well, they're not really new. I mean, people who had fast foods in the 50s and 60s, and mm -hmm. everybody wasn't obese. What the difference was was that children had a chance to walk. Children had a chance to play. They could walk to school. They had PE regularly in school. That's not always the case anymore. In fact, um, you know, the, the school's incidents have just dropped the number of them who actually have PE available for any reasonable length of time in the school year. And the ability for you to go to the grocery store and just take a stroll down the street has remarkably changed. Right, you right. know, back in the day, you could say, okay, run out for a bottle of milk and they could walk down there. Now sure. you have to drive everywhere. Um, we've sort of engineered our society into a position where it's more difficult for children to, to be active. To, Even to playing be, outside. I mean, I don't want to date myself right. here. <laughs> but I do remember playing outside as a child, meeting neighbor, neighborhood friends, and playing in the yard. We don't do, we do structured play dates now. Right. You, <laughs> and they're indoors. Oh, I sure. mean, you know, back then you, you came back, and I'm, I'll date myself right along with you. Um, you came back <laughs> from so school, young. you did your homework, and, you know, you opened the back door and you were out. You didn't get back in until mom called, it's time for dinner. Right. Um, that's not the case anymore. Now we've got video games, we've got, um, what are all those things called, the... We fit the, the right, right, right. Xbox, the, you know, they're all good in some way, but they keep you indoors. Inside. And so the children don't get the opportunity to be kids, to run around, to play. Those things burn off energy. And so when you go on a structured play date, as my kids do from time to time, they are indoors with their friends. They're comparing who has you're the saying, newest game. And you're like, go just outside. be outside, you know. So it, 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 we have changed. And then, you know, as busy as a busy working mother myself, I know that if you have parents who are working two and three jobs mm -hmm. and they're trying to, you know, basically just keep a roof over their head, paying attention to having, you know, three course vegetable and everything meals and not really the thing that they're thinking about. They sure. want their kids fed. They want them clean. They want them safe. So you're driving home, you grab a, a dish, and not, nothing to malign those dishes, you know, at least not right this minute, but <laughs> you can't do that all the time because, you know, they're not always the healthiest choices. The they don't have on. everything, yeah. So it, it, it is, it, 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 it's been a difficult choice. Um, I, I work in Newark, and in the city of Newark, the incidence of obesity is almost 50%, it's like 45% wow. according to a number in Newark school kids last year. And you think, well, how are, how are these children supposed to overcome these odds? You know, how can they fight back to reclaim their lives? How can we as their parents help them? I'm a pediatrician, and the one thing I want to tell people, talk with your doctor. Mm -hmm. um, I heard the first lady introduce, talking about her book yesterday, and she said her doctor first pointed out to her the importance of, of watching the children's weight, and I thought that was great. I hate to do this to you, two <laughs> seconds. What can we do? Very quickly. Very quickly, I'll give you a quick <laughs> message. This is the message that um, the Academy of Pediatrics is, is promoting. A quick four points. 
5210. Every single day, make sure your, your children have five servings of fruit and vegetables. Fruit and vegetables, okay. And no more than two hours of screen time. Screen time, I tell my patients, means TV, computer, iPhone, iTouch, anything shiny with an on and off button, no more than two hours a day. Okay. Um, one hour of physical activity, exercise, run, you know, shooting hoops, whatever. And zero means limit, eliminate sugar-sweetened beverages. That means Eliminate. juice. That means soda. Out. Okay, yeah. okay. Five right two. Down. We can do that. Five we two can one do that. <laughs> Five two one zero. That's Got right. it. Thank you so much, Doctor, for being here. Anytime. Come back again, okay? Thank you. <laughs>